officials, executive members of the Scandinavian airline system, SAS, and the public, a pleasant good morning. As the public relations officer here at SAS, I have been asked to present before you the conclusions drawn after approximately a year of investigation, the accident of December 27, 1991. On the aforementioned date, Flight 751, a DC-9 aircraft, crashed 15 kilometers northeast of Stockholm International Airport. The flight was piloted by Stefan Rasmussen and First Officer Ulf Sedema. The flight was destined to Copenhagen. Our flight dispatched its own investigators by the Swedish Accident Investigation Board alerted years. From the report submitted, we gathered the following. It was brought to our attention here at SAS that a ground crew member on that day was negligent to thoroughly check the upper side of the wings for the presence of ice. It was found that there existed a one-inch thick, one thick coat of clear ice on the wings. When the plane took off, the ice became loose and because of the unique position of the engines in a DC-9, the ice was projected onto the fan blades. This created a surge in engine 2. This surge would explain the jerks and vibrations that passengers complained about. As is practiced during a surge, pilot Rasmussen throttled down but to no avail. The engines automatically throttled up, which increased the intensity of the surge. Shortly after both engines had failed, a fire that had broke out in engine 1 was extinguished. At this point, the aircraft was nothing but a large glider. It is from here onward that the flying heroics of pilot Rasmussen and first officer Sudema saw the crash landing of flight 751, a crash landing that he executed without a single fatality. However, there were 92 injuries, of which eight were serious. And we have in our audience a survivor of the accident, Mrs. Johnson. Mrs. Johnson. I am so happy to be with my family. If it wasn't for the pilot, we wouldn't have been reunited. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson, for your words. Though the ice on the wings of the aircraft was a main contributor towards the accident, the effects of this disaster could have been reduced to zero if the pilots had knowledge of the automatic thrust restoration feature that was included in the plane. We here at SAS were unaware of this newly added feature by the DC-9 manufacturer, Boeing. This feature was added to all Scandinavian airline planes to automatically restore thrust when power is lost by an engine. We are confident that if our pilots were aware of this feature, it could have been switched off and this disaster could have been avoided. But this is not the case. All of us here at SAS take full responsibility for the accident. If more attention was paid to the technical specifications of all our airplanes and information was exchanged more frequently and understandably between our airline and the manufacturer, this incident would have not occurred. A simple thing such as lack of communication really goes a long way. It was unethical of our airline to not ensure that the wings were completely ice-free and not be aware of the technical specifications of our planes. By neglecting these contributing factors, we put 129 lives at risk, and it is by God's grace that they are alive. Some of the victims may still be traumatized and we humbly apologize for our failure to see this. We must mention here again the courageous effort made by pilot Rasmussen. It can be seen that he tried his level best to follow the Hippocratic oath by performing the job to the best of his ability and not putting any of the passengers' lives at risk in doing so. He, he was under extreme pressure and against all odds did what we thought was the impossible. In the future, our airline promises to practice good communication skills between departments in order to provide a better service for you, the customers. We hope that this information has cleared up any misunderstandings and that you feel safe to fly with us again. Thank you.